So I'm going to go over a guide of Hidokiri as fast as I possibly can. I made one for Shinobi about two weeks ago, but I didn't exactly go into all the technical stuff. Um, a big reason I didn't want to go into those technical stuff and the skill gap and everything like that is just because I was trying to make it as fast as possible. There is a comment under there that I, uh, that I hearted. So if you are interested in Shinobi, I definitely recommend that video. And also checking out, um, it's just a long comment about like um, his technicality and everything like that, and how like um, certain moves like uh, like his deflect can um, can ledge and certain things like that. So I would definitely recommend taking a look at that. But we're going to learn Hidokiri today. Hidokiri is a bit more simple. Um, I know there's going to be some things like I don't go over, but. Uh, it, this is more of to just give you the push. Alright. So we're going to go over her basic combos. So she has an infinite chain of heavies. And then she also has a double leg. You can do light heavy. Or you can do heavy light. Now when people get light periods they tend to do heavy light. Or they go into heavy kick. Now... A lot of her moveset, in my opinion, is really based off of her uh, her kicks. Really getting those timings and uh, confusing your opponent. So, you, so uh, the way that you enter that kick stance is you'll do a light, and then you'll press your guard break button. Do a kick that guarantees a heavy. Or you'll do a heavy into a light that guarantees a heavy. Now with this kick, you can charge it for the sweep. But you can also faint it into a guard break. Because some people try to dodge, and when they dodge, you get that guaranteed guard break. Now, if it is a dodge attack, you'll most likely want to parry it. But those are very situational things. The only time I ever really see I have to parry is people like Griffin, or Orochi, or um, Berserker. Those are just situational aspects. Now, another thing that can really screw people up is... Uh, if someone dodges, her heavies just go a little bit farther, so you can tend to get people if you charge all the way up. Or people will expect you to do unblockable if you charge. Oh, they mean to do unblockable. But some people will expect you to do unblockable. Instead of doing that, just do a regular. She's very, uh, she's not iffy with her timings. It's all about the timings. So screwing up people's timings, making them think they have to parry sooner than later, or later than sooner, is really what she's all about. She has an area too. You can open up with the area. Uh, although it does not chain into anything. So really it's just a fast attack. Normally, uh, if you're playing Warden, you kind of only really want an area if you want to option select or get your opponent on. Um, normally I use that on Death or as an option select. Really, I wouldn't recommend using it as much else. But uh, some people find use to it, some people don't. She used to have a lot of hyper armor, she doesn't anymore. Her second light has hyper armor, and her heavy will have hyper armor on strike. So until you really get into the strike, she won't have hyper armor. I think it's only uncharged though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only uncharged. So she's not too um, she's not too hard of a character to grasp if you follow these these guidelines. Um, there's improving obviously because it's a quick guide. But it's just, again, all about timing, getting your opponent's timing off and everything like that. A lot of fainting. A lot of fainting in a guard break because a lot of people will dodge. And when you don't faint in a guard break, just follow through. And I think that's all I really have to say about this Hito Kiri guide. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty easy, set-in-stone guide. Yeah, Alright, goodbye.